Hey Scorpio, welcome back. How are you guys doing? It's Empress Me, and I am here bringing you your daily message. I'm doing um, all signs again, so individual signs along with the general messages. I had to take a break because I wanted to be um, persistent for you guys. I wanted to be consistent, you know, not persistent, well both, but I wanted to be consistent. So, um, Scorpio, how you guys been doing? Talk to me in the comments. Go ahead and hit that notification bell to make sure you get all your videos, lovies. Um, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you love what we're doing over here, okay? Let's go ahead and dive in. Let's first see what energies um, or what things that's going on in your energy that you need to be focusing on. These um, are things that can help you elevate. They can help you heal. They can help bring you clarity to something that you've been thinking about. Um, or just ease your heart and mind knowing that you were right. So let's find out what Spirit wants you to focus on at this time. Then we're going to tap into the surrounding energy. And throughout, we're going to be giving you advice and um, bringing clarity to whatever situations are surrounding you. Okay, lovies? Let's get into it. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit guys, bring me clear messages from my Scorpio. Spirit, what should Scorpios be focusing on at this time? What should Scorpios be focusing on at this time, Spirit? Ooh, yours just flying out. Okay, Scorpio, y'all, because y'all thick on YouTube. Okay, Spirit wants to talk to you about grief. Wants to talk to you about being happy, um, using your intuition. Ooh, being in denial a little bit. All right, and perseverance. So let's go ahead and, um, yeah, let's get into it, Scorpio. I'm glad you came. Okay, let me see. Death. All right, I'm learning that endings are merely beginnings, Scorpio. So um, you're very loving and you get very attached. And I feel like Spirit wants you to know that holding on to something that doesn't serve you, it just hurts you more. Um, for a lot of you, you can let go. But I feel like when you love somebody, you love somebody and you love wholeheartedly. You're all in. All right. And you don't want to see your investment go to waste. So I do understand that completely. I actually love like that myself. So I do get it. Um, but Spirit wants you to embrace the changes that happen um, and that come with your transformations and relationships, because this is grooming you to get what you ultimately want. And that's a relationship that you can um, grow with. Like you want somebody that you can grow with, um, somebody that is going to pour into you just like you pour into them. I feel like you want somebody that is going to compliment you very well, you know? Um, and I want, I feel like you want somebody that's in it to win it just like you are. Okay. So I feel like spirit is definitely telling you to embrace these changes, embrace these endings and count them as blessings that you aren't, um, I feel like you're not going to be controlled by something that's not for you and that's not serving you, okay? So Spirit is basically saying um, endings are just beginnings. You have to embrace that. And I feel like this is something that you definitely should be focused on. Actually, that's the overall energy here, the underlying energy of what you should focus on, okay? So release and understanding that it's okay if something doesn't end. Just like, I mean, it's just another transformation. It's something else that you're going to go through that's going to elevate you to the next level. All right? Perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. Just like you can have anything you want, right? You really can. All right? So it's all about you persevering um, against all odds. No matter what's happening in your life, no matter who you have to let go, who may turn their back on you or not really be supporting you the way you support them, Spirit wants you to continue to persevere, continue to believe in your yourself and um this gives you more drive and passion um when it comes to you um when it comes to you being successful and succeeding in whatever goal you have okay instead of being worried or sad or in denial about something that you know you need to let go spirit wants you to embrace the changes so with this happiness card i'm aware that being happy means that i'm on the right path Okay, so I feel like you love when the vibrations um, are good and the stars are aligning and everything is happening good for you. But when Spirit wants you to um, bring your attention to when things are difficult, when there's a lot of strife and negativity, when you're feeling sad, that just means that that's not your path. I feel like you want to explore something different or there's something more for you to learn before you explore that thing, whatever the case may be. If you're not happy, that's just not your path. And I feel like you're aware of that. 
And I feel like you're very emotionally grounded. And this could also have something to do with all this green in this card. This could also have something to do with your work, loving what you do, making sure that you're in a place that is fulfilling to you, fulfilling so that you'll, you know, you'll be content at work and it'll help you focus more on bringing the other things into your life that you want as far as your social life or your love life. Um, balancing with family and friends, you know, this will help you. Um, but I feel like you definitely are aware that if you're not happy, then something's just not right. And you know that you don't want to be on that path. You're very intuitive. So I feel like you use your intuition in that aspect. All right. Imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. This is you manifesting. This is you imagining yourself doing the things that you want to do. This is even you imagining having the person that you really want to have. Um, Spirit wants you to manifest. Spirit wants you to set your intentions on the things that would make you happy. The universe is waiting to help you bring these things into fruition. So there's a need for you to take time to manifest. Okay. Um, perseverance is key. Being positive is key to have the things that you want to bring in. That's, I feel like that's what this is saying. It right, has a lot to do with your happiness and you manifesting what you want and you believing in yourself to be able to get it. I see that here. And I feel like this has these positive cards have a lot to do with these cards over here. So I'm learning that endings are merely beginnings. Denial, I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. So you're no longer, spirit doesn't want you to walk in denial. These are things that you need to be aware of. So there's a situation here that is ending or that ended and you're in grief about it. I feel like you overextended yourself or you overinvested in this situation. It was one-sided. And I feel like you didn't get the same thing you invested into this person back. All right, but spirit wants you to know that losing something is just an opportunity to appreciate it. So if this is something that you really wanted or you didn't realize you wanted it until it was too late and you lost it, spirit doesn't want you to walk in the energy of grief. Spirit wants you to look back at that situation and see what lessons you are supposed to learn in that. Um, how would you appreciate this thing more if you had another chance? Like, what would you do? And for some of you, this is you needing to appreciate yourself. All right, let's just call a thing a thing. It's you need to appreciate yourself, put yourself first, and not overextend yourself to someone who isn't willing to meet you halfway. All right, so with the now here, because um, it's like you're sad and you don't want to let something go, or you're really in deep depression or sadness about having to let something go, wanting to hold on to something, but spirit is saying, no, release it. A new beginning is waiting for you and you can't have it until you release this thing. It's no need to walk in denial because you're just going to keep yourself in grief. When you're happy, you're on the right path. If you're in denial and grief, you know you're not on the right path. So Spirit is saying you can have this. Know that you're worth it. Know that you can do it. Know that you can manifest whatever you want and things will you will be happy when you're on the right path. But instead, you have this. And grief and in denial that something really needs to end so you can start over. Freedom underneath this death card. Time to free yourself. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. All right? So this is definitely something here that you need to definitely pay attention to. Absolutely. Let's see what Spirit wants to talk to you about as far as these cards before we go into your overall energy. These are the things that you're supposed to be focusing on that's happening in your life right now. So perseverance, perseverance. What does Scorpio need to know about perseverance? All right. So this is saying overindulgence, goss gossiping, lack of a social life. So Spirit basically wants you to know that you can have these things, um, but it's somebody in your energy that is gossiping. Um, this is saying bitchiness, overindulgence, lack of... So, so I feel like there's something that you're overindulging in possibly. And it could have everything to do with this situation here that's supposed to be ended. Um, Spirit wants you to release that. I'm feeling like there's definitely an energy here of you needing to get out more. Lack of a social life. So I feel like you need to get out more. It's somebody around you that's just driving you crazy, worrying you half to death. Spirit wants you to know you can do whatever you set your mind to. You're not trapped in that situation. Show me why the three of cups is here in reverse. 
Some of y'all need to just get out and have some fun. Some of you guys are spending time in hermit mode. This says creativity, action, power. This is the magician card, skill and magic. This is basically saying that you have all the tools you need to make that situation that you want come to pass. Um, this is saying visualizations are important, manifesting your desires. So spirit, spirit is saying basically you have the gift of gab, meaning you can talk somebody into doing anything. You're very convincing. And spirit is saying you should use this these gifts that you have to bring your dreams into reality. I mean, you can have everything you want. I use these cards because I want to get all that spirit is trying to tell you here because this is important. So perseverance, spirit is basically saying you're unhappy with your social life right now, but you do have all the tools you need to bring it, bring a new group of people into fruition, like new friends, um, new memories. You can do that. Just get out more. Happiness. I'm aware that being happy means that I'm on the right path. For Scorpio, show me clear messages. Happiness, family, happy feelings, okay? This is homecomings, family gatherings, marriage, long-term relationships. Um, so I feel like all of this is what you want. A peaceful family um, unit. Happy, happiness with a partner. Abundance. Domestic bliss. Happily ever after. Children. Like, you just want your family to be happy. And I feel like for some of you, um, happy Father's Day, by the way. But for some of you who are distant from your kids, you just want peace in that situation. You want to be able to be in your child's life. Um, a lot of you want to be with the mother and you want to have a happy, happily ever after. But it's hell, you know. So there's a lot of things that are important to you. And Spirit is saying you do have an opportunity to have marriage. Because this is the marriage card. So somebody wants to be happily married and in a relationship that suits them. And you can have this. Spirit wants you to manifest what you want. The will is turning in your favor. This is good luck, destiny, chance, karma, soulmate. Somebody with their soulmate here. Um, um, and then there could also be some type of upheaval when it comes to you manifesting what you want. Somebody feels like they keep bringing in the wrong person. Like, it's like every time I try and I try to manifest something, it's not the right opportunity. So Spirit is saying there's more to learn here. So whoever that resonates with, it's more for you to learn about the situations that you've been in. Show me grief. Fertility, prosperity. Okay, so grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate. Somebody lost a queen of pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Okay, somebody could have lost their abundance. All right, because this card stands for abundance. Spirit is telling you basically what what would you do different if you had this opportunity? Somebody has grown cold to you, and I feel like this person may have left you. Maybe maybe you did something to end this situation, but Spirit is saying if you had another opportunity, what have you learned in this situation that would change fate? You know, would you still do the same things? What lessons were there to learn in this relationship that you may have missed? You know? Show me why the Queen of Pentacles is here. Gifts and generosity. So somebody here is saying that they would be generous. They would. It would be an equal give and take. Somebody here wants to heal something with an earth sign here. All right. Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. Okay. So I feel like kindness, wealth, prosperity, control. Okay. Giving and receiving, gratitude, being valued or being well paid. Somebody feels like they would value this person. Or maybe you wanted this person to value you more. Okay? But either way, somebody here wants to heal something with an earth sign. Okay? And I feel like you're in grief about what happened with this. This person had spirituality. They, they had faith. They had healing energy. And I feel like you miss this person a lot. All right? But show me denial. What's going on with this denial here? Res resilience okay so an ongoing battle close to success so somebody okay so in denial i acknowledge my fear but in place it with insight and awareness so somebody's in denial or fearful that something won't work i feel like you're guarded i feel like you have your guards up and you're very defensive um but there's a need for you to lower your guard and try if this is what you want a happy family with someone or to have a happy relationship or heal a relationship, you have to try, right? Learning from past failures is here, all right? It looks like somebody is making investments 
or waiting for the right time. I feel like you could be working on your life right now. This is maybe why you didn't reach out to this person or try to heal something here. I feel like somebody was here and you were happy with them. At one time, you were happy with them. But this is the need for you to love yourself first. This is the need for you to heal fully, learn how to believe in yourself without somebody else encouraging you. And I feel like you do love yourself and you believe in yourself. A lot of you do. But a lot of you deep down inside, you hide the fact that you do need self-assurance. You do like when somebody pours into you and to be received well by others. So when somebody has a problem with you or you feel like somebody is speaking down to you, it really crushes your heart. People don't really know how sensitive you are, you know, especially the males, okay? You come off very giving and very kind-hearted, but people don't realize that because a lot of times you don't even show that you're hurt. You know, you're very balanced emotionally, so you don't let your emotions take over all the time. Sometimes you just hold it in. And I feel like that is confusing people sometimes. It's just a need for you to learn a healthy balance, all right? Healthy to the point where you won't get taken advantage of, but at the same time, you won't be misunderstood and your feelings won't be disregarded, okay? I feel that, okay? I feel like you're having patience. And you're planning something here. Show me the death card. I'm learning that endings bring new beginnings. New beginnings, new relationships, new romance, love, happiness, joy, conception. All right, so celebrating and socializing. So somebody here, yes. Um, endings do bring new beginnings. And I feel like there was some type of tower moment here between you and this person. But I feel like as time is moving on, you're healing yourself. You're finding a greater sense of self-worth. You're loving yourself more. It's a lot of things that have changed for you since you were in this connection with this person. Um, I see you here planning for something. But in the meantime, Spirit wants you to embrace this new beginning, okay? For a lot of you, you're trying to fight rushing into somebody. There's a lot of big changes here and opportunities. Seize the moment. Somebody wants to seize the moment and be honest with somebody, just wants to rush in and talk to somebody. But I feel like, and this is somebody who you, it's like, you know, that you can get what you want. Like if you want something, you can go get it and it's yours. See this energy here, but you are trying to not rush in and make any rash decisions and be too fast. You want to, you don't want to act off impulse. You want to plan things. You want to think things through. You want to actually know what you want. And what you're willing to do before you go in. But this is you, you know, really loving and kind-hearted. The King of Cups energy. This is you having great love for yourself. Not only that, this is you having great love for somebody else. You still love someone here. And I feel like you want to express that. And you want to be, you want to be true. But it's like you understand the unconscious motivations. You understand that. You know, it takes time. Things take time. You have to understand what you're getting into before you go rush in. So I feel like instead of that, you're working on yourself. But you definitely do want to go and talk to an earth sign here. It could be a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. But I feel like this is also representing you putting the work in, putting the effort in. This is you working on things, working on yourself. And you could ask, act, actually want to work on the relationship. This is the page of swords as you finding out more information, learning, communicating. So I feel like, yeah, you're taking your time. You're growing and you're learning at the same time. But you still do love somebody here. I just feel like Spirit is telling you to first focus on yourself. Make sure that you know you know what you want because you can have anything you want. Um, it's like the sky's the limit type energy, but you don't need to live in this energy of grief and be in denial because really you don't know what will happen in a situation unless you try. So that's the energy here, but you definitely don't need to be in grief or beating yourself up. Forgive yourself for your mistakes. And I mean, you never know. Give a person an opportunity to forgive you. Um, rejection does hurt, but how would you know if you were be rejected if you never try, right? feel like you must have really did this person bad for you not to be even wanting to go and say anything to them. But they're still in your heart. You're holding them in your heart. Let's see what's going on with Scorpio. 
ancestors, spirit guide, holy angels. Show me clear messages for Scorpio. And for some of you, this I just saw the let go card. But for some of you, I feel like for a lot of you, um, well, for some of you, the situation is over. And I feel like if this person did anything to to hurt you deliberately, then you know you shouldn't go back to them. It's something that you need to learn from that and move on. But for some of you, if you were the one who may have hurt this person and you're afraid that they won't forgive you, but you really do love them, it never hurts to apologize if you never apologize. Okay? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides for Scorpio. What's the surrounding energy for Scorpio? What's the surrounding energy for Scorpio? Surrounding energy. Yeah. Got the let go card here. Now is not the right time. So if you're thinking about rushing into someone, now is not the right time. It's a no. So I feel like it's not the right time. This person may reject you if you say something right now. Um, so yeah, I feel like time is, is a factor here. All right. So we got distance. It says you and your partner may be physically or emotionally distant right now. So you and the person you care for or your partner may be on a break. There's some separation here or there's two people here that distance themselves from each other. Okay. Why? Because someone else was in the middle. Someone else was trying to sabotage this. So you could have had someone purposely trying to sabotage your relationship. These are two women here. So one could have been more attractive, more flirty. And I feel like they pulled you away from your focus. And it's, it could be two men, however it resonates with you. But that card is showing two women. Intimacy. Sexual chemistry reminiscing. So somebody could re be reminiscing about how good this other person felt with them. Like, I feel like your person, you're missing your person. You're missing the connection, everything that you guys had together. I feel like you think about this and you miss this. The intimate moments were important to you and you really, you really care about that. I feel like you really, somebody really messed up here. And I feel like, yeah, you can't help but to think about it because I mean, you guys were a match. I feel soulmate energy. Like that was a soulmate, right? Let go. Make room for the new beginning that is on its way to you now. So some of you just need to let go of this energy. It's no need for you to feel in regret and be sad and keep beating yourself up about it. Spirit wants to bring you something new. For some of you, it could be a new beginning re regarding this person that you're distant from. But I feel like let go could be, it could be the negative thoughts, it could be fears, and it could actually be a person. So it's all about what happened in your situation. So let's see what the tarot wants to tell you about letting go. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides for Scorpio. Show me clear messages. Can you clarify this message, the overall energy for Scorpio? What's going on here with the distance card? What's distance? holding on to someone so somebody here is still holding on four of pentacles represents holding on to people places and things also represents holding on to your money but i feel like it's somebody here that is holding on tightly this person could be holding on to you or you're holding on to them show me one more on the four of pentacles somebody is trying to be strong here yeah the strength card Realizing that you're braver than you thought. It's like willpower, confidence, just being strong during this time that you guys have distance. Show me what Scorpio is expected to do regarding this distance. What is this here for? All right. The world. Endings bring in new beginnings. So some cycle came to an end. And somebody is just being strong. I feel like somebody still cares for somebody greatly. You're still holding on to the memories of this person. Um, the world is not a bad card. It also means that there's there could be a rebirth, a new beginning, something new happening, something coming out of an ending. All right. It also means the end of a very tough cycle. I'm looking at these red ropes here that's mending this. It's like love is, is holding this together. 
or it's the red rope and red represents love and i feel like for some of you it could this could come back around full circle and i feel like when once it does if it does you'll know how to appreciate this thing that you lost all right because somebody lost someone and i feel like you want it back but at the same time it's over whatever happened it was it was bad all right something big happened to make this end and this person is way distant from you like not talking to you nothing like that all right but i feel like you just have to be strong at this time and let i feel like time needs to take its course so let nature take its course came to me to be honest scorpio but what's gonna come out of this world situation and what's gonna happen between scorpio and this distant person my is heartbroken wow so there may be an opportunity to heal i feel like right now somebody is needing to heal from heartbreak or they're still healing from heartbreak you may be able to come back together and heal this situation possibly someone else is interfering or someone else was in the middle of this show me someone else who is this wow so this is somebody that you moved on from I feel like somebody was definitely in the middle and this caused this person to move on somebody else caught your eye caught your attention somebody more like somebody fast and and just it's like one of those men stealers type energies or somebody who is very promiscuous and wanting to have the upper hand or wanting the control somebody who just wasn't satisfied until they took you from this person or took your person from you one more on move on yeah this person left you out in the cold somebody moved on here either you left this person out on the cold or they left you i feel like this person walked away because they found out that somebody was cheating they found out that somebody was seeing somebody else intimacy king of pentacles energy and the tower yeah <sighs> yeah somebody found out that somebody else was cheating somebody here had a fling like they had somebody on the side and i feel like somebody found out spirit gave you clarity shine the light on the situation somehow your intuition told you or either you had proof somebody also had a child with someone behind your back this is crazy man you found out that this person had a secret relationship or they actually married somebody or Scorpio, this could be you. This could be you that married somebody or had a secret relationship behind somebody's back. And this person walked away from you. This is this earth sign walking away from you. And this third party and this third party situation didn't do anything but burden you. It gave you a lot of burden, stress, and worry. Yeah, you got karma for cheating behind somebody's back here. Or this earth sign found out that you were cheating and left you. Or it could be vice versa. But what this story is telling me is that you missed somebody. You wanted somebody and they left. Or you broke up. This person distanced themselves from you let go make room for the new beginning that's on its way to you now there may be some type of reconciliation or some celebration or somebody coming back together with this three of three of cups energy but i feel like there's a need for you to let go of whatever you're holding on to from the past whatever causes heartbreak or this problem in your life yeah it's like you're wishing for somebody but you juggled them. It's like you juggled your wish. Wow. Yeah. Some I feel like this Virgo shined the light on what you were doing and found out that you had a family somewhere or a relationship or something. Or either you're spying on this Virgo. Somebody was a manipulator here. 
Y'all tell me in the comments how this resonates with you and which one of y'all were cheating. It's one of you. Either you cheated on this um, earth sign or this earth sign cheated on you. Either way, I see you holding on to memories and holding on to this person and really missing them. Some of you feel really bad about what happened to you and some of you got hurt really bad. Um, Spirit is basically saying let go. Some of you need to let go of the idea of reconciling with this person because you juggled them or they'll just juggle you again. Some of you need to release harsh judgment and negative thinking so that if you did get back with this person, it will work out and you'd be able to balance things because the two of pentacles also is a card representing balancing things. But I feel like somebody definitely was seeing two people here. <clears throat> Some people, somebody was seeing two people here. Yeah. So, and I feel like your mother, somebody's mother or mother figure was against somebody here. So I feel like not only did somebody have a third party, I feel like the mother didn't like somebody or somebody's parent or mother figure didn't like the, one of the people. And so this person had somebody else on the side or found somebody else or something like that. But this person, whoever this is, in Scorpio, this could be you with these cups thinking about this person that left you out in the cold, this Virgo. This was a long reading, y'all. Tell me what you think about this reading in the comments and tell me what happened because this is a lot going on here. Um, yeah. So <laughs> tell me what's going on, Scorpio. But this is your reading. Thank you for being here with me, loves. Let me know in the comments what you think. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I will see you on the next video. Bye, loveys.